Is it maybe a little early for this? Mm, probably. Am I still going to do it? Uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? This release is monumental. It's game changing. I'll tell you right now, right off the bat, I felt a joy when I saw this release that I haven't felt in a very long time when collecting Disney cars. Probably the last time I felt that way was when they did uncancel the snowmobile reindeer a couple years ago. And you guys want to know why? All right, let me set the stage for you. While I love some of these recent releases, West Flanapis, Quadratorcasar, Jeremy, Squat, whatever, they all feel a bit fantastical, a bit mythical, and very fresh, very green. They just came out of the just over one-year-old Cars on the Road Disney Plus series. In and of itself, Disney Plus is just a few years old as well. There's no nostalgia there. There's no kind of emotion-inducing sentiment. But this, this came out of the 2010 Mater Saves Christmas book. The picture book that is engraved in my memory in my childhood when I was nine years old. And now, seeing this character, just a little elf, seems so inconsequential, right? But no, it represents so much more than that to me, guys. Mattel went back. 13 years, 13 years into the past to grab this guy to release him. And to me, I can't get over it. I'm impressed, Mattel. This is one of the best things I believe you've done in a long time. If you could call anything fan service from Mattel, this is fan service right here. And we'll get into the details as we go on as to why. But I truly believe this is the best release Mattel has done in a few years. I mean, obviously the reindeer was great, but I will argue this is better than the reindeer. So stay tuned as to why. But basically, guys, welcome back to a Mr. Docket presentation. I have a zip in me I haven't had in a while because this is, it's crazy. It's awesome. I'm going to try and restrain myself because if I don't, I will just go on and on and sing this guy's praises. But let's get to the facts. The new 2023 Wintertime Cruises case, I'll put the content in the description. There are two of him in the case. That's a very good thing. Obviously, he will be the most popular. People are finding these across the United States at those obscure grocers, whether it be Fred Meyer, checkmark, Kroger, checkmark. I have a Kroger about 25 miles south of me. I'm going to go to that. Probably HEB will get them in. And I believe someone actually said they found this at Target as well, which is a little hard for me to believe right now because it's so far yet from the holiday season. Like everything is Halloween. And as soon as Halloween is over, yes, they will get in Christmas and holiday stuff. But yeah, go out, check it. Target dig in the holiday stuff last year and the year before. So it makes sense. I'm sure they will this year. Kroger's, if you have it, Fred Meyer, probably Fry's stores as well. Anything affiliated with that has a chance of getting this in and a pretty high one. I'm pretty sure most of the stores do end up getting in this case assortment. I just got mine off eBay. I couldn't wait. And I think that goes to show how passionate I truly am about Clutch Kringle. A little tongue twister. But yeah, the same packaging we've seen over the last few years. It's got kind of the snow globe look here of Radiator Springs, but it is just like a screenshot from the movie with some snow kind of photoshopped intertwined to it. It's not like they kind of animated or made it look like a real snow globe. You know, it kind of looks like you're peering right down Main Street of Radiator Springs. But they do make sure you know it's metal, which is something they've actually gotten rid of now. Actually, no, they moved it around. They still have it on the packages. It's a little smaller, though. Clutch Kringle, kind of the old style packagings as well with the blister instead of just, you know, the streamline action here with the name on the card. You got an actual physical name tag in this, so it just feels right. On the back, you got a bunch of other wintertime cruisers. Not all of them are being released this year. I don't think Sarge or Doc is, but again, or I don't think even Luigi and Guido, maybe even Ramon, I don't know, whatever. Check in the description below for the full contents, but you have Sally, Snow Day Sally. You got the Snowplow Lightning McQueen, which is awesome because it's better than the Holiday Hotshot one that they did in the main line over the last couple years in 2021 and two. You got Luigi and Guido right there with the new blue gift. When they first were released way back in 2010, it was a red gift. 
You have the Snowmobile Reindeer, of course, which was canceled two years ago after being in the void and oblivion for 11 years. You got this new Ramon here, which is pretty awesome. That came out along with the Reindeer. You have Doc Hudson, what do they call him? Decked out Doc Hudson. We Who Winter Mater. Not as good as Reindeer Mater, of course, but it'll suffice. And then Sarge Roof Lights, Sarge with the Roof Lights there, which is also a relatively new release, came out in 2017. So Mattel has made a very good effort since 2017 to give us some of these new holiday releases. This guy, 2017, these two a few years ago, also the technically new gift on Luigi and Guido, and now Clutch Kringle, not to mention they have in integrated the Easter cars and even some of the other Christmas cars or holiday into the main line. Of course, in 2021, we got Christmas Cruiser Ramon, the red and green one, and Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen. We got Holiday Hotshot McQueen again in 2022. In 2021, we got Lightning McQueen as the Easter buggy along with the Easter buggy himself. In 2022, we got the Easter buggy again. Now, upcoming in 2024, we will be getting a line like this, its own line for the Easter cars with the whole fleet of them returning Easter buggy Easter Mater, Easter Ramon, Easter McQueen, McQueen as the Easter Buggy, and the brand new Easter Flow from that book, Mater and the Easter Buggy. So I love that Mattel's investing back into the holiday stuff. It's something that I really never thought they would do. Not to mention, in 2021, they released Luigi and Guido as the mummy, and yeah, what was it? Yeah, mummies. Yeah, Luigi and Guido in the mummy costume, which is pretty awesome. Oh, Ghost Guido and Mummy Luigi. That's what it was. But anyways, enough rambling. Let's get right into I'm going to unbox this guy ravenously. Now, I don't mean to tease you, but before we get into the review of Mr. Kringle here, we have to understand where he came from. And it's not that difficult. On the cover of the book, there he is, just chilling right there, looking up to Mater. Now, there are a few more elves like him in the book, but we are going to canonize that this is him. I mean, the way that his hat droops to the right of him there, the way his expression, the green eyes, it's got to be this elf here. Now, there are other kinds of elves as well. You have the Professor Z elf here because he literally is like in the Professor Z model, which is kind of crazy. I've seen customs of this guy before and I actually wanted to get one of my own, but the timing just didn't work out. But yeah, there's that kind of elf as well. You have Santa Car, who we got long ago, and then Mrs. Claus back there. This is raised a lot of speculation about if we'll ever get you know these two well i mean we got santa car but a re-release of him and then the first release of santa or mrs claus another one that we definitely still need to get is fabulous hudson hornet in the ducked out version that'd be awesome i'm just gonna go out and say it that would be super cool the release of guido that they did never had the stars on him and we'll kind of get to that later but i'm just being nitpicky at this point and there you go you have Clutch Kringle again, along with the Professor Z Elf, as we will call him. I have a custom of this red here without the kind of wreathing on the back. I have the wreath on his hood there. Of course, you have a Chick Hicks in here, a snot rod. I've seen a custom of the snot rod before, which looks awesome. Of course, Lizzie's back up here as well. I have a custom of her. It's not 100% accurate. It doesn't have the candy cane trim. They never did flow with the earmuffs either. That would be an easy one because they already have earmuffs for Sally. So why don't you just plop that on over to flow? So there's still a lot of potential to be had in this book. And I think that flow is probably the next man up. I just say that because that's the saying, not because she's a man. She's not. You guys know what I mean. I hope next man up. That's a saying. So much potential to be had in this book. And here we are. We are at the North Pole, and you get a whole shot of elves here. You know, you got the truck right there, which is cool. You have all shapes and sizes, like a little cart action here. And then, like, you could look at him and him. Maybe that one up there. This one looks almost like... Who does that remind me of? That kind of reminds me of, like, Alex Machino or Carlo Veloso's Pity. I'm forgetting the name of it. It's like something park. Anyways... 
yeah, lots of Alps here, and they're all in different shapes and sizes. It's really cool. You got this guy up here, just kind of in his own world in a blue paint job. I would love all these. Like, I'd buy them all up, no matter how similar some of them may be. But that brings me to my next point here in that, you know, some of the most desirable cars or characters, whatever you want to call it, that nobody has done. And by nobody, I mean Mattel, Disney Store, Tomica. Nobody has attempted the video game cars like Goodman or Candace or Stinger. I'd say those are very desirable in terms of what the fandom wants, the fandom very vocal fandom, including myself, and these, you know, Mrs. Claus and all the elves and whatnot there. Most of that stuff is highly unattainable, not only in the sense that nobody attempted it in terms of a company, but you can't really customize it because there's not a good donor. There's not a good base car to use. It's not like, okay, I'm going to go and make a Piston Cup pity. Let me just grab that Bruiser Bukowski or Chick Hicks, whatever, you know, Stacy, Megan Shifter, and repaint it. That, relatively speaking, is pretty easy to do. What do you do with these? Of course, you know, Professor Z, you know, opens up some possibilities, but even that's a little bit of a stretch, and you got to really rework him with all of his, you know, special little features, special features. Special little, that sounds kind of like a cool word. I'm going to have to add to my dictionary do you get really creative and use like a mini racer Leroy Hemming it could work like I've seen one done with this and it does look good it could work for sure but it still doesn't feel the same you know obviously you can't even really attempt a Santa or a Mrs. Claus maybe you go and try and find a car from another line like a matchbox car or a hot wheels car or whatever and try and really stretch it and so that is a limited the custom potential on everything here and the video games. Like I'd love a Goodman custom, but there's just nothing I could possibly think of that would work out for him as a base model. There's a bunch of cool stickers back here as well, including stickers of Clutch Kringle. There he is up there. You got Mrs. Claus. You got another, the Professor Z Elf down there. Just all around really cool. Such a great book. Like they put a lot of effort into this. I mean, here you go again. Lots of effort into this book. And I just don't see them doing that now. And by them, I mean, I mean, whoever did this, right? You even got, look at a little pen of snowmobiles up there. I still need to like make my own collection. Bruiser Mikowski makes an appearance in this. All the tuners do. It's like they gave everyone exactly what they wanted in this book. It's so great. So great. And they make an appearance in Radiator Springs there. And you just can't go wrong with that. <laughs> you got Mater as Rudolph, essentially. So anyways... Who made this book? I mean, I'm sure Disney had, yeah, Disney and Pixar had some sort of input on this. Probably is like DK books or whatever, but I'm not even finding that on here. Anyways, it's irrelevant. I just don't see anyone doing that nowadays. They won't even give us any storyline for some of these expanded universe lines. The Glow Racers, Thomasville, Fireball Beach. They don't give us anything for that. Whereas back in the day, they gave us this amazing, high-quality picture book with so much creativity infused into it, creating all those new cars, all those new models from scratch. It's mind-blowing to me, and I'm so glad that Mattel is rewarding us with that by giving us Clutch Kringle here. You guys might be looking at the runtime of this video and like, how on earth did he rant on about this car for over 20 minutes. I mean, I'm just guessing it's going to go for over 20 minutes because he's freaking amazing. That's why. And if you're not convinced yet, you will be by the end of this video. But anyways, yeah, green eyes, great expression. What I love most about it is that the bumper is formed around his mouth right there. That just feels really retro to me. That looks awesome. He's got a nice little grill there, big headlights. They almost look cracked. Like, that's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on there. See how, like, it's not perfectly filled in? Is it supposed to be like that? Like, see how there's, like, a gap for gray right there and there? That just looks a little strange to me. It's probably supposed to be like that because it looks the same on both, but just looks a little off. This silver trim is a part of the metal body, which is crazy to me. Like, there's a bevel to it. That's all part of the main metal body. It's not painted on, which they could have easily done. No one would have really bad an eye. And it gives it such a realistic, high-quality feel, which is needed. 
Now that's not great, a little black smudge mark there, a little skid mark action. Not great quality control there, but hey, we're gonna let that one slide. It's Christmas time, not really. Maybe you're watching this around the holidays, which is pretty cool, I'm sure a bunch of people are. I love the metallic green wheels here with a little silver trim there as well. Let's take a look at the base real quick. He was made in Vietnam, probably one of the last cars to be made in Vietnam because they are kind of moving everything over to Thailand. After China, they moved things to Thailand and Vietnam and now are kind of bringing everything to Thailand, moving stuff away from Vietnam. But these are definitely still some stragglers here. And his date stamp is 0893SD. That means he was made on the 89th day of 2023, I believe. Yeah, that's how it works. That's kind of crazy because that was a long time ago. The 89th day, that is like less than three months. So this guy's just been chilling, weighing the bust out for a while. I'm surprised no leaks happen. The first time we found this guy was when someone found it in a store, which is a really kind of like genuine, wholesome feeling because it's so like retro. That doesn't happen anymore. Everything gets leaked online. We're in the digital world. And for the first time, the fandom found out about Clutch Kringle was literally by someone finding it in a store. Now granted, it's an eBay reseller that put it up for sale online for five times the price, blah, blah, blah. Actually, it's like, it's probably more like eight times the price. Anyways, that part will just brush under the rug for now it's cool right i like that i'm not a big leak guy like it's cool i mean i'm doing videos on those but all in all i like when things just kind of happen spontaneously like this it doesn't happen too often these days his side view mirrors are kind of like a rubbery plastic you can bend them around a little bit this is a great quality car there are no decals on him for us to kind of get in the nitty gritty about that which Vietnam and Thailand tend to struggle with. So there's that, but I mean, the eyes look fantastic. And that's something that Thailand has struggled with. So maybe that's why they went with Vietnam because it looks crisp. He honestly looks like a China car to me. Like he fits in with all the Chinese Christmas cars from over a decade ago. The hat on top here is plastic. And this also just kind of substantiates my point right there because you have Doc Hudson here with a very similar Santa hat. Similar material, hard plastic with the little ball kind of chilling there on the end. A little bit different texture on the white, but looks relatively the same. And you know, you got the same kind of look here on Santa car himself. So maintaining that consistency because they are all supposed to be from the same group, from the same North Pole, from the same universe. Yeah, I mean, this is just awesome. This guy is so cool. On the back, you got taillights. Nice little silver bumper there. Beautiful design. Never in my life would have thought we would have gotten this guy. Mainly because we barely even got the reindeer here. I mean, he was canceled in 2010. And maybe, I mean, maybe guys, Clutch Kringle was supposed to come out in 2010 as well. I mean, who knows? We really don't know. It's possible. He just wasn't as close to getting out as... The snowmobile here was because there actually were a few leaked and i do have a 2010 prototype of the reindeer but yeah i figured okay we got the reindeer mattel's like all right we're just gonna give them that and we're gonna call it a day they could stop they can get off our back stop yelling at us for canceling the reindeer right but no they take it one step further give us one of the elves here and really now blow open the doors for anything else in that book you could get one of the Professor Z elves. You could even maybe hope for a multi-pack that brings back Santa Car and possibly Mrs. Claus as well. I think that's a really far shot still just because it's much harder to get a retailer to sign on to take a multi-pack than it is these singles. I mean, Kroger's like, hell yeah, bring them on. We'll take those singles. Fred Meyer, Target, easy, right? Multi-packs, a little harder to do. And we haven't seen really anything of the sort in a very long time. Granted, Target still does multi-packs and so does Walmart. The potential is there. It is absolutely there. Amazon maybe, like the Ivy Mater McQueen pack. The potential is there. They could do it, but it still feels a little far off right now. But trust me, if I saw Mrs. Claus, I'd lose my mind. Almost even, probably even more than I did for the Elf here. 
clutch Kringle. But yeah, I love, by the way, the savvy mirrors that give him like the pointy ear look. That's perfect, right? I mean, that's exactly what you want. I absolutely adore this guy. Best release of 2023. Change my mind. I'm sorry, West Philanthropist. I thought you were going to take home the crown, but you just ain't good enough. I'll have to do a ranking at the end of the year of all the 2023 releases because there are some really good ones. Randy fell short of expectations. The dinosaurs excelled. And then you have a sneaky little elf in there. That's the story of 2023 for me. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments section below. Have you ever attempted making an elf custom? The potential is there. You know, the resources are there, kind of. I would definitely just go ahead and bite the bullet on clutch. Wait a little bit, though, for the eBay prices to come down. Check the stores I mentioned. And yeah, guys, who is your favorite Christmas car that Mattel or holiday car that Mattel has done? They've done quite a few now. There's some that they haven't released in a while. Will they bring them back? Lots of new faces now. Really have to give it up to Mattel. I mean, they've done just a fantastic job with this holiday stuff. Halloween, Easter, and Christmas. People asking about St. Patrick's Day cars and Valentine's Day cars. Absolutely not. That's not ever going to happen. I'll tell you right now. I'm sorry. But <laughs> you get what you get. And you don't throw a fit. And I think what we got is pretty gosh darn good. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I will see you soon for another video. Have a great weekend. Bye now.